Formerly the capital of Nigeria, Lagos retains its title as the country's largest city. A dizzying metropolis, the city has a reputation as a tech and nightlife hub. Explore the mainland and Lagos Island with their historic museums and colorful markets. Or cross over the lagoon to the affluent cosmopolitan Victoria Island, where exclusive beach resorts vie for space with upmarket dining and shopping opportunities. Let's get into the video. At the Lecky Conservation Center, you may take on the longest canopy walkway in the world. You'll find the Lecky Conservation Center at the top of most things to do in Lagos, Nigeria. And with so many activities and ways to connect with nature, it's easy to see why. This huge, expansive green space is a marked contrast to the concrete that dominates the rest of the city. It's like a tranquil oasis of peace, nature, and wildlife tucked inside one of the world's most congested cities. You can take an organized tour through the center where you'll walk on planks over mangroves, learning about fauna and flora which are native to the area. You're very likely to see monkeys. Watch out or they'll take your camera, birds and fish. If you're lucky, you might even spot a crocodile or a snake. And for a special treat, brave the longest canopy walk in Africa which will allow you to experience the forest from a different angle. Visit the Nike Center for Art and Culture to see African art in person. Founded by the legendary Oyenike Monica Okende, the Lagos outpost of the Nike Art Center is something akin to an art gallery, an artist retreat and workshop, and home rolled into one. Inside you'll find Nigerian artists, sculptors, and craftsmen honing their skills. Several levels filled to the brim with one of the largest collection of African art on the continent. And if you're lucky, even Nike herself. There's no cost to enter, making it a great fun but free thing to do in Lagos, Nigeria. But you'll have the opportunity to make a purchase should something catch your eye. Visit Eep Mangroves for a nature adventure. Tired of the chaos of Lagos and need a bit of a break? Take a day trip to the nearby Eep Mangroves. There you'll find a smaller Yoruba community, very different than Lagos, including a fascinating fish market you can pursue. But the highlight of any day trip from Lagos to Eep is definitely going to be taking a small boat or canoeing through the mangroves, where you'll get a taste of Nigerian nature. Just watch out for the crocodiles. Check out Tarqua's Bay Surf. Nigeria may not be known for its surfing culture, but Tarqua Bay is starting to put it on the map, as even some of the pros are starting to flock to this hidden but increasingly popular surfing gem. As it's located on a small artificial island, Tarqua is only accessible by a 30-minute boat or water taxi from Victoria Island. Don't pack your board? That's cool. It's still a fun beach, you can rent a chair, and a worthwhile place to visit in Lagos. Plus, Watching the surfers at work is always a great thing to do. Visit the Makoko Floating Village. Just outside of the flashy wealth of Lagos Island, you'll find the severely economically challenged community of Makoko, which is by some definitions, the largest floating slum in the world. Definitely the most eye-opening thing to do in Lagos, you'll witness a hugely marginalized but remarkably resilient community that subsists off the ocean and its own willpower. A visit to the Makoko floating village requires some preparation to be sure you're interacting with the community in a way that is respectful and not voyeuristic. To that end, it's best to go with a local tour guide, though admittedly that can be a challenge to arrange. Arrange tours on a custom basis, so you can book a tour through them and see not only Makoko, but a few of the other places on this list of things to do in Lagos too. Visit the historic town of Badagri. There's no understanding of West Africa without learning about the tragic history of the slave trade and the havoc colonial slavers wreaked across the region. A trip to the historic town of Badagri is sure to leave you pensive as you explore relics of this unfortunate chapter of Nigerian and world history at the Badagri Black Heritage Museum. Badagri is also a charming town in its own right 
and is near some decent beaches, so it makes for another worthwhile day trip from Lagos. Watch a concert at the New Africa Shrine. This open-air entertainment center serves as the next generation of the old Africa Shrine, built by the famous artist come political activist Fila Kuta in 1970. It showcases some of Fila's artwork and also serves as a sort of community center. Visit during the day and you're sure to be greeted by many friendly and chatty locals eager to show you around. Come at night during one of the Shrine's weekend concert events which are sure to offer you a crazy night out in Lagos. For a real treat, visit Lagos during the annual Celebration Festival and feel the shrine pulse with Afrobeats. It's located in Akeja, which means a long drive if you're staying in the islands, but it's well worth it and can be easily combined with the nearby Kalakuta Republic Museum. Try a Nigerian dish or two. Suya, a spicy skewer typically made of beef, chicken or ram, yes ram, is clearly hugely popular with the locals and a must try for any carnivorous visitor to Lagos. As my friend Adamola is fond of saying, suya is life. You can find it being hawked by vendors all over the city, but Adamola swears the best suya spot in Lagos is the Glover Court suya spot. Other must try Nigerian foods to try include jollof rice, Akara, which are deep fried bean cakes, dodo, which is fried plantain, and puff puff, which is a fried sweet donut like ball. The Moist Beach Club is the perfect place to relax. If it's a weekend afternoon in Lagos, there's only one place to be in, the beach. And while there is a multitude of offerings in Lekki and Victoria Island, the newly opened Moist Beach Club is the hottest and most fun place to be in town offering a swimming pool just steps from the ocean, plenty of seating in the open air deck, and summer vibes all year round. It's a great place to kick back, relax, and leave the chaos of Lagos behind you. Get your groceries at a local open air market. Lagos is filled with open air markets that sell everything from textiles to household goods to computers. There's even a famous computer village. Probably the most popular market for tourists and definitely most accessible is the Lekki Crafts Market. For a more local experience, however, check out the huge Balogun Market on Lagos Island. Visit the Museum of the Nigerian Railway Corporation. Learn about the fascinating history of Nigeria's agricultural and industrial economy during the colonial period by visiting the Nigerian Railway Corporation Museum. It's a very small and somewhat aging museum that receives very few visitors, but the caretaker is easy to pass on his extensive knowledge about the history of Nigeria's impressive railway network. Check out Terra Culture, an arts, cultural and educational center that hosts plays, art exhibitions and book readings. Terra Culture is a great place to visit in Lagos, Nigeria if you're looking to connect with Nigerian art and culture. If there are no performances on the day of your visit, you can still check out the art gallery and bookstore. Plus, it has an attached restaurant, which is a great place to try some Nigerian food. Find someone to have a conversation with in your neighborhood. The best thing to do in Lagos, Nigeria, was to simply strike up a conversation with a random local. Nigerians speak English, which makes Lagos an excellent place to converse with the locals. Best yet, Nigerians are a chatty bunch, very chatty. Nearly everyone I met was super eager to chat with me and to hear the perspective of a foreigner. If you're a traveler in Lagos, it won't be hard to find someone to talk to. Multiple times, people literally just came up to me on the street to strike up a conversation. Lagos is incredibly diversified with a rich history and vibrant culture. It's a fantastic area to live and visit. It's bursting at the seams with vitality and people from all walks of life. If you can make it here, you can make it elsewhere, is one of the most renowned Lagosian proverbs.